And that is just some of what you have seen on TV and online this week. Pat and I are going to take you through some of the rest. We will start and finish with proper football matches with various nonsense in between. So, Pat, let's start with West Ham Monday night. Um, yeah, really organised, really structured. Everything is absolutely fine. See that tackle there? Wow! <laughs> it's unbelievably ready, really. But the pace of the break is absolutely off the scale. Um, and when that would end, you just thought, there is no chance whatsoever of them coming back. And uh, when they defended, you know, from the corner, they really did. So, in actual fact, it was, a, for me, a seven, maybe seven and a half out of ten performance. But that was good enough against West Ham. It was that late goal gave it a bit of a gloss that, frankly, the game didn't deserve from West Ham's point of view. We'll get to Man U later. Uh, other favourite bits from the West Ham match? Well, I think for everybody, Eden Hazard's back, Pat. Wonderful. Yeah, I mean, the, the skill. The often. thing is, because it's, it's a great skill because he absolutely means it. He knows exactly what's going on. It was a great performance by him. His goal was good, but he wasn't man of the match. This bloke was. <laughs> Kante will have to get that himself, but being in Golo Kante, he has. That is ridiculous. How did he get that? That was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Just shows the hunger, the pace, the desire. There he is again. Absolutely brilliant, Golo Kante. And look what's happened here. The charge down and then the pinch. Chief pocket picker, Kante, finds Hazard. What a performance from the man who just did not stop and it was recognised by his teammates. Here's what Eden Hazard had to say about N'Golo afterwards. He's everywhere. I think sometimes when I'm on the pitch, I, I see him twice, you know, one on the left, one on the right. And uh, I think they play, he play with twins. But uh, now he's a fantastic player. He helped the team a lot, so we are happy to have him in the team. And earlier in the week, Eden Hazard and N'Golo Kante sat down together in front of the Chelsea TV cameras. It was lots of fun. Here's a little bit of that. You get to play with this guy every week. How good is Eden Hazard? To play with him, it's a pleasure. And uh, we hope to achieve something together. You know, the most important is uh, the title, the, the to win every game. And uh, it's a pleasure to have him uh, <laughs> in our team. Yeah. Ronaldinho used to do that sometimes. And, uh, you know, it's not something you can work on it or practice a lot. Something comes natural. And, uh, yeah, I think in my head, the best option was to flick the ball with my back because with my head, I'm not so, I'm not so good. Do you know what I would love? You know, I'd pay good money to go to training if it was one-on-one, -on -one, Hazard against Kante all day, just to see who'd won that battle. Who would win? No idea. OK. <laughs> uh, that full interview will be available very soon. You can go online and see it. And on Monday, the whole thing's going out in pre-match at the bridge in the build-up to the Man U game with me and Pat and Jason. So make sure you watch that. Right, next to Cobham. And we start with forfeits, Pat. This is Thibaut Courtois, last man out to training. What do you have to do? You're last. Everyone's laughing because you have to run through everyone and you're allowed to do anything. People go through, bang, kick, knee, whatever. It's, to, it's relatively unscathed then. You keep on moving, because if you fall, they don't stop. I can tell you that from experience. OK, uh, from forfeits to skills, uh, this is uh, William with what looks like a nappy bag and Kennedy. I might know what's in that, actually, because remember you used to play with hacky sacks, rattan balls, different things like that, and which is good fun. Futsal, I to play mm. futsal with a smaller ball now. Really helps your skills. Brazil and Spain, the experts in futsal, and Brazil and Spain ended up as the finalists in the Six Aside tournament they had at Cobham this week. Obviously, you had different people having to kind of fudge in a bit with other teams because you haven't necessarily got six from everywhere, but you know what I mean. And uh, Spain were the victors in the end. Yeah, but if you remember, they win World Cups and they win everything in Spain generally. This is possibly the only thing they haven't won as a trophy throughout the season, and it looks like they could win it this year because is that two in a row, you say? It is two in a row, and we know that because Cesc Fabregas told us so. Too easy. What can we do? Twice in a row. Wednesday was International Women's Day, uh, which reminded us that for Emma Hayes and her Blues, the new season starts very soon. And in other news, Nathaniel Chaloba has been back to school. Have a look at this. When you're playing football and the camera's on you, how do you feel? When you're playing football, you're competing with people, so you have a game to win. 
You think more about winning than you think about the cameras. Was you frightened on your first professional football match? I was nervous, but I was more excited than nervous. You get a rush of blood and you can get really anxious, but I was, I was really excited. To social media next. Boxing themed as well are two posts this week. This is Thibaut Courtois uh, ringside at David Hay versus Tony Bellew. And uh, Mishi Batshuayi met Floyd Mayweather, which made us wonder who would be the best boxer in the Chelsea squad. Uh, I suggested Costa. You've had someone who's recently departed, but I'm going to let you get away with it. Yeah, I, I, Kante, if it was lightweights, etc., that's fine, but no. I mean, Branislav Ivanovic, he's got, he's got to be the next Klitschko. He could do it. He's absolutely fantastic. Nail for it. Who is going to stand up to him? No one. Right, speaking of heavyweights, Manchester United then, Monday night, Pat. Um, last FA Cup meeting was also a quarter-final, settled by a replay goal by Denver Bar. That won't be happening because there's no replays this year. What do you think of that? Do you know I'm happy with no replays? I think the teams have got a lot to on their plate, particularly the ones that are in Europe, so you could do without the replays. Um, also, it suits us perfectly well because we don't even have to think about going to Old Trafford. Diego Costa is the subject of our bet with betting partners William Hill. Nine to four you can get on DC to score in a Chelsea win. You fancy it? Absolutely fancy us for that one. Um, Zlatan could have made a big difference to them, but... Uh, That's huge, isn't it? It's massive for them. And I think it was their entire game plan was built around how Zlatan actually plays into that back post. At the moment, they're going to have to do something special. Hey, nobody knows Chelsea like Jose Mourinho knows Chelsea. So if anyone's going to see a weakness, or find a fault, or find anything, it's going to be Jose. But everybody else has been looking. Nobody's really found one yet. Not yet, and hopefully that won't be the case here on Monday night. Enjoy it if you're coming or watching on the box. We will leave you with somebody whose birthday it is. Didier Drogba, and he knows a thing or two about scoring goals against Man U in the FA Cup. See you next time.